For thousands of years, people in the Arctic have used kayaks to hunt, and for good reason. These slender vessels glide swiftly in the water and are light enough to carry. High-tech materials make today's wooden kayaks more durable than ever, yet still a glorious way to slice through the water. This construction begins with plywood, made from a kumi, a rugged type of mahogany. A computer-guided routing machine cuts out the boat's various parts. One has finger joints that interlock with another piece to make one long strip. These panels will cover the sides of the vessel and most of the top. The planks are only four millimeters thick. The entire kayak will weigh just 17 kilograms. These are bulkheads, end panels, footrests, and curved pieces to support the deck and sides. After applying two coats of epoxy resin, a craftsman assembles the parts and secures them in a jig for six hours until the glue sets. The side panels will span the entire length of the boat, which is just over five meters. Assembling the kayak is pretty straightforward, so if you want to save money and do it yourself, you can buy this kayak cheaper as a kit. The end panels are planed and sanded to create a curved tip. Small holes, spaced 12 centimeters apart, are drilled along the edges of the bottom panels. Then, copper wire is threaded through the holes. This stitches the panels together temporarily, keeping them flexible and thereby easy to assemble for gluing. Wooden pegs are placed between the side panels to pry them open. Then those panels are joined with two screws in the front and two in the back. At this stage, the kayak is upside down. The bottom panels are added. They're attached using copper wire, which won't stick to the resin used to glue these parts together. After the boat is flipped, a bulkhead is added using more wire. Using a putty knife as a gauge, the craftsman ensures the gaps at the seams are even. Then he flips the boat and coats the seams in resin. It's left to dry for six hours, just part of the 40 hours it takes to build the kayak. Before the glue hardens, the top of the boat is checked to make sure that it's level. The pieces can be adjusted if need be. After the wire is removed from the seams, more resin is applied to these areas. Over this, strips of fiberglass cloth are placed to form a watertight seal. Three more coats of resin will also be applied throughout the inside of the kayak. Once it dries and the entire surface has been sanded and varnished, the footrest assembly is added. This one's got pivot pads with cables that control a rudder to help steer the boat. This is an optional feature. Next, resin is applied along the kayak's upper rim. The top panel is added to form the deck. Then, the entire boat is wrapped in packing tape, which compresses the panels as the resin sets for 12 hours. These pieces form a raised rim around where the kayaker sits. A waterproof skirt fits under this rim, keeping the area dry in the water. The deck gets two coats of resin. An hour later, fiberglass is spread over the bottom to seal and protect the wood. The bottom then gets three coats of resin. Next, up to six coats of varnish are sprayed on, depending on the type of finish the boat will have. This protects the wood from sun damage. A foam backrest is added, and then a seat. And finally, flexible rubber straps for securing your harpoon or your paddle, so you don't get caught up a creek without it. <laughs>